In 2008, Malaysia's ruling coalition, Barisan National, suffered a surprising loss in the general elections, losing out on a crucial two-thirds majority in parliament. Since then, the party has been working hard to regain lost support, while the opposition strives to gain the extra votes it needs to occupy Putrajaya. Both coalitions have promised a range of incentives to Malaysians across all divides, from different ethnicities to genders. One strata of society, however, seems to have been neglected. Angela Kugadas is an LGBT rights activist, and she says issues affecting that community have not been addressed in both coalitions' manifestos. I think they see us as a minority and a negligible minority. Most of the votes, the at least in the last election, the those who have won won on a very sort of uh, small majority, and that's three to ten percent, and we make up. Um, in, in generally, you know, in terms of global statistics, we we make up a population, a national population of three to ten percent, right? And so we are like the dark horse in terms of voters. I think that they've actually made a, a really serious mistake because uh, because the LGBTIQ, I think, will will make their choices based on three areas. You know, the the kind of treatment they they've received from the authorities, whether they're police, Islamic religious authorities, whether people who have uh, power over them, like employers and teachers, and then the the kind of treatment that they have from their families and and the the immediate social circle that they have. You know, like close friends. You know, whether it's acceptance or rejection. And then the third area is their own relationship with these uh, people from these political parties, you know, and it could be good or bad. No lesbian, no gay, no bisexual, no transsexual. But don't... Malaysia's treatment of the lesbian, gay, transgender, and bisexual community have thrust the nation in the international spotlight many a time. From guidelines endorsed by the Education Ministry to detect homosexuals, to anti-gay musicals to blatant persecution, many in the LGBT community feel Malaysia still has a long way to go before it can truly preach equality. So yeah, I have a boyfriend of three years, and I wonder what is wrong with being gay because we have feelings too. We go through the same things that everybody goes through. The only difference is we like guys, guys like guys, girls like girls. So it's like I believe everybody has a right to live the life they want to. We don't go around killing people, right? We don't go around harming anyone. It's just us. So I believe that gays and lesbians, we should be given a chance to live life the way we deserve, like everybody else. We don't want to deny other parties' right at the same time. It's just that there are some things that we 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 can't expect to be equal with others, uh, communities, and mistakes, other group. In Malaysia, being homosexual can get you into trouble with the law, even more so if you're Muslim. So under civil law, there's the Section 377, uh, largely um, criminalizing the, the act of sodomy. So that could be used against homosexuals. Uh, at the, under Sharia law, it's a little bit more comprehensive. Uh, it targets sodomy uh, or liwat and musahaka, which is lesbianism or the acts of uh, lesbianism between two women, as well as the identity of trans people. So, so these Sharia laws differ across states and it's, and it's problematic because some of the Sharia laws actually target their identity. So for example, if they are, if they are perceived as male and dressing as female, uh, impersonating or posing, uh, they can be arrested and uh, without even doing any kind of immoral act or any kind of uh, wrong per se in terms of the law. As GE13 approaches, LGBT voters have to make a choice between two coalitions that both have members who've openly criticized their way of life. But Angela Kugada says there are politicians across the divide who've asserted their support for the community as well. It's unfortunate that Malaysia is sort of riddled with uh, party politics where politicians are, are in, uh, expected to toe the party line. Because we have seen politicians who have tried to stand on principles uh, despite that might be, you know, sort of uh, opening up a can of worms within, within the party and how they have been governing uh, our country, uh, you know, they've sort of been sidelined or, you know, they, they've, had, they've been forced to, like, leave politics altogether. Uh, we've had uh, people who actually spoke, you know, in, and stood up in terms of principles, like uh, Charles Santiago. He, he spoke up despite, uh, uh, in the case of the intimidation of children and also in terms of the banning of sexual timidaka. Uh, uh, Tei Yi Chu, uh, he's a DAP assemblyman in Penang, uh, you know, and uh, it's unfortunate it's just a handful of people. <laughs>
This gay voter says he does not expect much to change with GE13, but he says that's all right. I think the government still okay in、uh, in the sense of uh, uh, yeah handling the issue. They 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 not directly supporting LGBT, but、uh, I still don't see that they are actually uh, uh, totally against. Against the group, yeah, because we are still here today, and we are still, you know,、uh, live our life. Not really my priority concern because、uh, I'm happy with with how how the perceptions here. I'm not going to ask too much because we we know our. Position, but、uh, it's not too bad as compared to others. I, I still feel that we can survive. There are members of Malaysian society, however, who think change is very much needed. Yeah, it shouldn't be criminalized because it's none of our business if you're doing whatever behind, you know, with your partner. That's all thing. I think everyone's sexual preference is、uh, to each its own. I think it's not up to us to judge. Or yeah, whatever that is deemed normal to us may not be normal to them. But I feel that we should accept everyone as whomever they are. So how can Malaysia better address the needs of the LGBT community moving forward? I think it's important that whichever government that comes into power educates themselves, and 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 I think you know to to start standing on principles in terms of governance. Right,、um, you need to to stand on the fact that you know everybody has has to have equal human rights, and no doubt you know in terms of religious values, some people may disagree in terms of sexual orientation and gender identity. But in the medical field, there's already proof that this is not something that we have, you know, it's not a choice.、Uh, you know, it, it's innate within us. It's it's part of identity. You cannot convert someone to become gay. You know, you cannot convert someone to become a trans person. You know, you cannot influence them because it's innate within you, your your sexuality. This is Samisha Naidu reporting for Kini Focus.